people of God and welcome to this channel. Today is another blessed day in our lives. In this prayer, God want to give you a great blessing. At this time, let's pray together three very powerful prayers. Three Psalms capable of offering you blessings, victories and protection in your life. Please don't forget to put in your prayer request in the comments below and please don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. The first psalm we are going to pray is the mighty 23 psalm, a prayer capable of opening doors and achieve victories in your financial life, a prayer that provides plenty and prosperity. Next, we are going to pray the mighty 91 psalm. It is considered the most powerful prayer in the Holy Bible. Psalm 91 is a prayer of protection who frees from disease who break all chains in your life, which repels any attack from the enemy, and which protects against envy. The word of the Lord says that envy is capable of rotting a person's bones, is capable of making a person sick. Envy can make a person lose everything he has. Psalm 91 prayer is a prayer that protects you from the spiritual attacks and protects your life against the evils that the enemy tries to cause your life. The 91 Psalm is one of the most stronger prayers. If all people knew the power of this spirit world every day, they would pray the 91 Psalm in the morning. This prayer is able to protect everyone who prays with great faith and then we will pray to Psalm 70, the Psalm for those who seek the urgent miracle. In many moments we need help and a miracle from the Lord, a virgin action on the part of God. And Psalm 70, is one of the most powerful prayers for achieving urgent miracles. God will reach out this hand to help you and help you get out of situations that you can't get out of alone. Through Psalm 70, God will bless you greatly. You can now prepare a glass of water as we start the prayer. Because during this prayer, we are going to concentrate this glass of water and by drinking this water, your life will be very blessed and you will be protected. And before we pray, I want to say something very important. I recommend you that you listen to this prayer every morning for the next seven days because all the things you do with God in the number enhances your victory. In the word of Lord, it says that the number seven is the number of God. The number seven represents the number of victory. Then listen to this prayer for another six days to complete seven and you will receive great blessings for the Lord on your life. Now. Let's pray together with great faith. You can repeat with me or just mentally. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul and leads me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my herd with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 91 Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he shall save you from the fowler snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling place, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angles concerning you, you to guard you in all your ways, they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will tremble the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him. For he acknowledges my name. 
He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him, and in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Now, we are going to pray Psalm 70. Hasten, O God, to save me. Come quickly, Lord, to help me. May those who want to take my life be put to shame and confusion. May all who desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. May those who say to me, may those who say to me, Aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who long for your saving help always say, The Lord is great. But as for me, I am poor and needy. Come quickly to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. Lord, do not delay. My God, beloved Father, right now under the blessings of Psalm 23, Psalm 91 and Psalm 70, I ask you now, my Father, for the life, his son, his daughter and household. I want to ask that they may be reached by all sorts of blessings from the Lord.